Fire away. So it's been brought up a couple times. Um, Raiders had a ton of passing success against the Eagles last week. Is there anything you can take away from, from Carr's performance and, and what they were able to do offensively that you can apply to your game plan this week? Well, just uh, watching that game, of course, Derek had a really good game. 31 or 34 or something. He was uh, uh, played very, very well. I think it's more of a credit to Derek and that offense and where that team's at uh, more than anything because looking at Philly's defense, they present some challenges, of course. Uh, they've got some good football players. Um, they cover very well. Their corners are impressive. Uh, their safeties um, are good players. Uh, you know, I think it's a pretty good defense and presents some problems for us. What is their, I guess, go-to coverage show? Well, you know, they mix it up pretty good. I mean, I think if you if you uh, if you had to say one thing, you know, they're a, they're a shell team. You know, they play some cover two, uh, but they'll mix it up as well. Um, they're not so predictable that you know exactly what they're in in certain situations, um, and that that presents some challenges. You know, for the quarterback and the uh, the rest of the guys, you got to be able to identify what they're in and uh, um, and then uh, you know execute. The play that's called. I know you'll take a, a deeper dive with a bye week, but, but it's maybe one thing you, you really liked about Jared's play through seven games, and one thing maybe you'd like to see him improve on moving forward. Well, I, I think uh, uh, what I'm most impressed about Jared um, is is just his preparation. You know, as, as you know, it's 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 tough right now, but yet um, his preparation, his attitude, his focus. Uh, him handling himself like a pro, uh, you wouldn't know that we're, we, we haven't won a game. Um, the way he approaches every week, um, regardless of what has happened previously, I mean, he's, he's confident, his leadership is coming through, and I think that uh, uh, really influences the rest of the guy when the starting, the rest of the guys, when the starting quarterback is out there, and uh, uh, he has high energy, he's focused, he's practicing well. Other guys feed off that, and uh, and I've been impressed with that. Um, listen, going forward, you know we've got to take care of the ball better, and that's not just Jared; that's all of us, coaches included. We have to do a better job of making sure that we are uh, that ball security is 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 at a premium, and uh, um, and so that that would be the focus, of course, for all of us. All right. Mark, I think uh, last time we asked you about that first year in Jacksonville, it was just sort of building, you know, but. If I remember right, you started like going four and five something that year. So, what was the key to sort of surviving that rough start, you know, mentally, like in the locker room, making sure people? I think the big thing for for a lot of players, myself included, was, hey, listen, you know, when when you're a team, when you're a young team, and you're kind of starting out together, um, you know, you're going to have some hiccups, and and when you do, you learn from them, and then you go forward. And just getting back to my comment about Jared, um, you know, you you. Uh, you know, you have a game against the Rams and a game that was well within reach. We came up short, a couple turnovers late, a couple inter, uh, interceptions late, and you just learn from it. And you go to the next week. You go play Philly and do your best and prepare as if you're going to win, and you go out there and you compete. And so I think that's very, very important, regardless of the previous struggles you might have. Uh, staying confident, staying poised, staying together um, uh, is, is very important. And we're seeing that here. Um, it's going to turn. It's going to turn, and uh, I hope it. I hope it starts in a couple of days. Can you expand just on what you're seeing in that regard, and why guys have been so galvanized, and why they haven't gotten down? It, it, it's character, uh, and it and it, it stems from. Uh, it starts from on up top with with the head coach and the general manager, um, being positive, um, challenging guys, um, making sure that we do our best to stay together. Uh, I've been on teams where you know you you go through a few struggles and things start to fall apart a little bit. And, uh, but this team has a lot of character, and uh, um, I think this team also knows that, like I said, at some point we're going to turn this thing around and we're going to get we're going to get the wins. They're coming, and uh, and that's good. But it, it just it, it really starts from the head coach, and you know you can, I mean it's tangible. You can feel the energy, uh, again the focus. Uh, the guys are working hard and really have I guess the best phrase is. Have really stayed together, which is which is critical. Outside of that football character, what gives you the confidence that it is going to turn around? I love our guys, man. They compete. They play hard. Um, we're, we've been close, as you guys know. Um, our very our record could very easily be different right now, but we've got to find a way to play better in those critical moments. Um, but it, it's really about the guys. It's really about the players that we have. 
Um, uh, we haven't seen any drop-off. Man, they go out there and they work and they prepare, not just out here, uh, but in the meeting rooms, and, and uh, it's, it's, been, it's been really good. And the execution in those key moments, is that just something that comes with time and repetition? It, it does. I mean, uh, you know, we've, we've got some young players, of course, and, and some guys that haven't played a lot. We've got some veterans, you know, but, but uh, regardless of what age uh, you are, how many years you've played in this league, in those critical moments, you have to, you have to make the play. You have to take care of the ball. You've got to have that run. You've got to have that throw. You've got to make the right read, and... Um, um, and I'm just speaking from offense, of course. You've got to make that block, and, and the, the right play is, needs to be called. And, and, uh, but I will say, guys, we're, we're seeing improvement. We really are. Uh, we're seeing young players get better. We're seeing uh, some, some good things. So we ha I know it might sound crazy, but we have some momentum. We're seeing a lot of improvement in a lot of areas um, um, at the quarterback position and at all the positions on offense. When you have a quarterback in the practice squad like you do, what is their, their role on a weekly basis? Is it more focused like Steven? On, yeah. Are you more focused on their individual development or are they critical in helping you prepare for an Yeah, I, listen, we've got, we've got four quarterbacks in the room and they all play a very important role. Um, you know, speaking specifically of Steven, you know, obviously he's doing some scout team. He's a young player that's learning. He's really absorbed our offense and, uh, you know, given the defense a, a, a good look and, um, um, that's that's important. We've got some guys that are a little banged up too, so he's he's had to do more than just play a little quarterback, which he loves. Uh, I'm always telling him, hey, don't get too comfortable. You're a quarterback first. You know, don't don't get any ideas. I'd like to keep you in this room. So, if someone throws you the ball, make sure you drop it so I can keep you at, <laughs> keep you at quarterback. But he's doing great. Really impressed with Steven. And then we've talked about Timmy and and uh, uh, David. Um, uh, honestly, I don't think um, – I told the head coach this. I, I don't know if I've been around um, a group of backups that have, have done so much for a room, for Jared, for our offense. And these guys are grinders, man. They put the hours in. You know, Tuesdays, uh, as you guys know, those are our days off, not for the quarterbacks. I mean, these guys are putting in a lot of time and preparing. You know, David's one play away. Um, Jared, obviously, he's a pro. He knows how to get ready for a game. Timmy's putting the time in, even though he's – he hasn't practiced. Uh, they're all contributing, and they're all. It really is a privilege to be around those guys because even though they're pretty young, they know what it means to be a pro. Can you, uh, I guess, allow yourself or as a coaching staff or allow players to take kind of a long view on this? Obviously, you talk yeah, our long. Our, yeah, we have a long view. It's 48 hours. That's our long view right now. We are just thinking about Philly. That's it. That's it. And uh, and after Philly, uh, we get we get a little break. And uh, uh, and then and then I believe it's Pittsburgh. So that's 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 kind of where our focus is. I know where you're going, but honestly, that's our mindset. Uh, we're not thinking down the road. Um, specifically for me, as a, as a, as quarterback coach, is to get Jared and the quarterbacks ready to go play Philly. That's it, man. When you, when you say Stephen uh, is playing some receivers, he actually was running. Route. Oh no, he yeah. I think he they had him at, he's standing out a little bit and catching balls for Jared, and because I can't do it, because Jared. Jared throws way too hard, yeah, and I can't catch those those passes. But Stephen just is there to help out in any way possible, and that's what you want from a young guy. Dan's given us an injury update. I just thought every player on the roster, but I guess we forget sometimes about Tim because he wouldn't step right back into a starting job. But uh, where, where's he at? Is his recovery good? Feeling that he's he's close? Yeah, every week he gets closer, you know. And and uh, I'm hesitant to speak about injuries, uh, but you, you guys know. I mean, you know, it, it takes time. He's got to heal and and uh, work into getting back into practice. When that happens, honestly, I don't know. Um, um, but uh, Timmy Timmy's been great, and at, at some point, you know, he'll he'll be uh, he'll be cleared. We asked Jared and Campbell about Philippe Raymond this week. Uh, just from a quarterback perspective, how well, I think that's a question for Jared. Jared's the one throwing, you know, to him, and he's making some plays. He's a young player that has some, he has some a lot of experience, and and uh, but boy, he's he's making plays. He's he certainly has gotten Jared's attention. He's gotten all of our attention. So, you know, if a guy's producing like that, you put him in positions to to really help the team, and he's done that. You talk about a great attitude and a work ethic. And uh, um, a guy perhaps before he got here was, was, was overlooked a little bit. He's not overlooked here. We, we're pretty excited about him. And I'm, and I'm speaking for Jared, really.